So 1-0, Marcus Campbell leads, Mark Williams breaking off in frame two. Don't forget, live now in Eurosport two. It's all Gould to win the first frame on the resumption. So five frames all there. First to ten goes into the last 16. So far we've got five players through, all top 16 players. No qualifiers have uh, caused an upset yet, but still plenty of matches, of course, to come. Yes, both players had chances in that last frame. Well, that's well, not the best shot he's ever played. Mark has come before. And doesn't want to turn this into a safety battle with Marcus Campbell. He's got a very good safety game. And he's pretty patient as well. Marcus Campbell last season made his first ever 147 in tournament play. That was at the Bahrain Championship. He earned £22,000 for that. Mark Williams made a maximum here at the Crucible five years ago. And he picked up 161000 So this is obviously the place to do it. 147,000 uh, bonus prize plus the high break prize, which that year was 14,000. two could have rolled into them and tried to get that cue ball tight under the cushion but just caught them a little too thin <coughs> but nothing easy for this man Easy path back to Bork either. <coughs> well, <coughs> he had a go. Didn't know if he had the cue power to bring the cue ball back to Bork, but that would have been an option in playing that shot. Here it is again. Decided to go full blooded at it, play for the pink or blue. Well, can he see enough of this red? Black's not available, the pink's not available. Would have to draw the cue ball back for the blue. This looks to be the favourite. If he can get to the get to the cue ball, pink's available to the right middle. of backspin on the cue ball. <laughs> it 
his 14th appearance. Mark Williams at the cruise bolt. Interestingly, the first time he played here, he was in the top 16. He didn't qualify the first four attempts, but of course, top 16 are here by right. Six. 1997 was his first visit. Had to qualify, of course, last year because he was outside the top 16. And he lost eventually to Stephen Hendry in the first round, although he had terrible trouble with his tip, I seem to recall. In fact, it came off at one point, had to have a new one fitted during the match. But it was some effort to get back in the top 16 straight away because he had to readjust to life at the qualifiers. Not every player has managed to do that. Thirty. And as we said earlier, he's back in the winning circle. He won the China Open just a fortnight ago. Yes, it may just be able to force this cue ball into that pack of reds. Lots of top spin on it. But couldn't develop anything. He came a little too straight on the pink. 19. Mark Williams, 19. Got to try and get that cue ball closer to the cushion. That was a nice, easy safety shot to play, and just played it maybe a little bit too casually. Once again, playing off the pack of reds like that, was always sending that red towards that left corner pocket. Didn't come down and look at the reds to see where they were going to finish. And it's finished in the worst possible position as far as Mike Williams is concerned. The red's nicely spread again, so if he can get onto a colour, the black's not available, but the pink and blue is. an option but so he's playing it with a lot of top well for me that was the hardest way to play the shot and so very nearly fluked it when you're playing those type of shots you've got to make sure of the pot first position is secondary titles he won Mark Williams <laughs> well, someone shouted out there I think two world titles he won were two of the most exciting finals of the last decade 2000 he was uh, third well I think he thinks that's bounced off the cushion look where it's finished I'll come back to that in a moment but you can't believe that yes it was the first cushion as well the left side cushion had a big bounce, but so did the right one. Bear in mind, he was playing to leave the cue ball dead on the right side cushion, so he's not going to be that far out with his calculations. <laughs> 